welcome and thank you for coming to join me on this series as I kick it off. My name is Blue Star, and as you can see on the screen, we are playing Farming Simulator 15, the Gold Edition. Um, I just recently just got it downloaded, um, installed, and here we are. I'm going to bring you along with me as I go ahead and kick this off. Brand new career game. We'll use like to save slot one here. Play hard difficulty. And this is the new map that came with Gold Edition. The Susnofa, Nof, Novica. Sorry guys, they, they are using this English name. I'm hopefully don't butcher it too bad. Um, it, um, as you can see, it says this is an Eastern Europe, European area represents an important agriculture center which, w with high potential, shows Sosnovskians representatives how a modern farm is run. Go ahead and select this as our starting map. A little bit more information with a couple of background pictures. Any second now, hopefully it'll load up. I guess we can go ahead and read this while we're waiting if you guys already have it. Um, the agriculture is one of the most important industries in Eastern Europe. The wide flat landscape is ideal for managing large fields. The farm near Sosnovka emerged from a farmer corp corporative. Even today, the village must, must sorry, the village puts much much emphasis on self self successfully. Okay, letting us know about the new map. Da 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 da. Cool. Take a quick glance around here. Look around. New starting location. I guess this is going to be our farm central. Looking down at the mini map, looks like the cow fields just right over there. Silo, high wires. Cool. I see a bunch of pieces of equipment. Go ahead and jump in here. Cool, we get to start off. With, it looks like we're starting with some of the brand new equipment guys that um, came out with this expansion. That's kind of good. What tractor is this? This is the Zetor Crystal 1204 five let's actually just jump over here into the um, purchasing window and see where this stuff is it's probably gonna be in the back of the package there they are the 12045 the major 80 the Proxima power 120 the Forterra 150 those are our four new tractors. Those of you got to look at the pre-order package. Now those are the four that they advertise. There is also supposed to be a new truck. The Phoenix 6x6. Ooh, he's a little bit cheaper than the man. Hmm. Looks like he's cheaper than the man. More powerful than the man truck. I'm looking down here at the max power ratings. But his maintenance per day is higher. Eh, not bad. Supposed to be a new, some new harvesters. Tie it back here. This is probably the one we have. Yes, it is. We own one of these. The Cross 595 Plus. We also don't have this one with the Torm. Torma 760. Eh, a little bit larger. Uh, is that supposed to be an R? I'm not sure if that's supposed to be an R or P, guys. I think it's supposed to be an R, so they're Rosselmesh. I know I might be pronouncing some of these names wrong, guys, and I do apologize that to you. 
Okay, next up should be the different new heads that goes with that. Tab over here, take a look at them. There they are. You got your 7 meter, your 9 meter, your corn. This should be another corn head, probably for using chaff, for chaffing. This is for grass or hay. I think if I'm right, the difference between this this one right here, the 4UP 370 and the 500D, is this is supposed to be able to pick up right off the dirt, where this one over here will take all these grains and grasses and just literally just chop them up and throw them in. And this back here is another corn. Oh, that's we've had that piece of equipment. Let's see what else were we supposed to get that I can remember. It's supposed to be a new tipper. And did I miss it? I think it might have been this. Farm Tech 1500. And we own one of them. So more than likely, because they already gave us one, this is the new tipper. So capacity is 15,000. That's better than the original starter over here, the barn, barn turn. So that's cool. Um, supposed to have got a new plow, I think. That there it is. They didn't give us a plow to start with. Should have a cultivator. Let's see where they may have stuck it. There it is, the back. They did give us one of them. It's only three meters wide. So it's equivalent to the one we started with earlier. It's just... Okay. Um, what else were we supposed to get? New seven, new cedars. Might be a little harder to figure, find these in the pack. Banner sack, horch. Or well, if not, no, they're not. They're right here, back here in the back together. As you can see, they gave this this one to start with. This will plant, plant wheat, canola, barley, and grass. And this is our corn and sugar beet planter. The DL and the Optimia 5. I'm, I'm going to guess it's supposed to be a Greek number. And the V is the 5, I do remember that. Da, da, da. Let's see. What was the other piece that we were supposed to be getting? Mm, potatoes? No. I thought it was another cedar. Hmm. Trying to think for a second, guys, where they may have, you know, put it. Because there should have been three cedars, from my understanding. Only saw the two. Grimmel, Grimmel. I thought we were supposed to get a third potato. And I'm not seeing it. Nope, didn't get put back in the miscellaneous package. Not, shouldn't be a placeable. Those are all trees. That's part of the JBC skid seer package. Well, anyhow, guys, I'll see if I can find that off screen and show it to you in a few minutes. Let's actually, you know, take a look at our map. We are starting up here. Looks like we're going to start with. We own the field 14 and 19. So 19 should be straight ahead. We'll take a little tour around our map and see what all we have here. Field 14 is right here.
nice little waterway there. Looks like we're traveling down the main road here. Beautiful country hillside. Doesn't look to have too steep of a hill a little bit. I know we just climbed a little hill right there. But I didn't hear a major change in the sound of the tractor. Little bus station here. Not seeing any public traffic yet. Nice, very beautiful fields. Kind of got a little stormy, cloudy background. Is it supposed to rain? No, it doesn't say so. Just clouds look a little dark. Come up on the back side of the looks like the community village here. Oh, pedestrians. Okay, and I guess that's supposed to head on to the rest of society. But as you can see, XY Top is no more. We'll turn around here. Ah, nice little community gathering place. Like we have a cell location here for eggs. Old storage warehouse area looks like. Get back in there. running across the road. Not 100% sure they do that, but I guess they could. Looks like it's being piped from this thing back here. Okay guys, I am at a loss. What is this? <laughs> if y'all know what it is, please leave a comment. Um, educate me. I'm not that familiar with European things and I have never seen anything like this. Two fire extinguishers, red box, a funnel. I guess that's supposed to be a funnel. It looks like a little generator thing, but goes in a pipe, runs all the way down here up and over the street along the outside of this house and this house okay and there's the yellow pipe going back to the other yellow pipe Looks like it's going into each one of these homes. I guess it's some type of water system. Oh, and it goes to a second one over here. Hmm. So I'm not sure, guys. If y'all do know what this thing is supposed to be, the TA3, I guess it's supposed to be a TA3. There it is. Go ahead and, you know, tell me what it is, guys. Um, educate me and some of the other viewers that'll see, see this video. If y'all know exactly what this is supposed to be. My best guess is, you know, some type of 
no heating supply or water supply system for the homes. Yeah, this should have been the one. Yep, this the one came in for the XL point. Oops, hit the tree. Try to cut the corner and look at there. See if there see if that's actually just a red sure can we actually fall in it. It looks like we kind of sink into it a little bit. Kinda. <laughs> so this is one of our cell points. This one is called the bakery. Look at what all the bakery takes here in a minute, guys. Um, traveling on down. Get out here, back out here to the main road. One thing I am noticing is, you know, the way they plotted the routes, they are making it, looks like it's going to be, so far no major issues programming, you know, course play to help us out um, with this expansion. That is something I will check here and, you know, give course play about a week or so to do some updates. Um, looks like we got a little sawmill down here. This going to be our lumber yard. Now that, yeah, I would consider that a lumber yard, guys. This is what, this is kind of you know what I would envision in a vision and yet lumber yard being closer to. I know the other one um, in the Bajoran home, home map, they showed it all in a building. But yeah, see this, that, this, this looks this looks familiar from what I've seen and on the little bit of research I've done. Got the floating logs that came down the riverside or the creek. You know, ah. See if I can get back up here on top of them. You know, it gets pushed over here. The way Bajoran Home did them to get them out of the water is not not bad, and I have I have seen that. But th this is typically what I'm used to. You know, push log up here. You got these little spike ba bars right here that go around the pulley here. Yep, grabs the logs. As you can see, it goes way under the water. Click the log, pull the log up on it, drop it on the second platform, drop it over here. And then there's that little chain conveyor right there. Uh, normally, would have a little bit of a hook and shove it into the actual sawmill platform itself. You know, the in -out output result comes out here falls down, rolls out here on the end of the conveyor. And then you have a great big humongous chute right here. You know, just blowing saw sawdust, saw chips right here. Making a humongous pile. That's probably about the only thing, you know, to make this look a little bit more realistic they could have done is, you know, draw a great big circle right here and made a pile of like wood chip looking things or dust. Um, cause they would get both. Um, I do know I, the sawmill I did get to go to and see when I was a kid, um, that they had, you know, this, it was kind of under a little bit of a lean to this little section right here where people would work, um, was under a lean to and yeah, literally this big pipe coming out just blowing right here, making a huge pile of, um, sawdust and wood chips and things that actually would separate the wood chips that actually had a somewhat a, of an other of another pipe that was involved um, the the wood chips would fall in the very first pipe um, and slide down a chute you know I think it was off here on the side of it somewhere because the wood chips were heavier so the external wind would blow the dust further down the pipe and but the wood chips would come out here they take a front loader here pick it up scoop it over and they would sell the wood chips separately. But back here would mean nothing but pure dust, what they call sawdust. Um, and 
I never saw them have any value for it. It ended up being like this great big humongous, almost look like mountain thing back there on the back of the lot. Um, and I actually remember being a kid, and, um, and my father was helping with the volunteer fire department. Literally, it was on a Sunday afternoon. And him and about four of the guys I knew took off out of church, and we passed them on the way home. And they were there trying to figure out how to put that humongous pile of sawdust that had lit on fire out. I think they lost like a third a third of it before they finally got it under control. Um, but literally, it was wasn't even about two weeks later because the sawmill got up and running again. Um, right behind it, that you couldn't even tell it was on, on fire because they had already reburied it all. Um, where are we at on our little tour? Looks like we're just getting right here through the back side of this riverway. Looks like, is this going to be train tracks here? That path right there looks like it goes right back down towards our farm. Nope, this is the road. Let's see if I can slide through here. There's the traffic. So traffic is on and working. A little bit of off-roading again here, guys. Mm. Looks like we have another cell point back here. Has a great big wheat logo on the side of the building. Hay bales. Both the square and round bale stacked outside of it. With a pull through Dumping location. We are at the village grain elevator. So we did come past the bakery, the sawmill, now we're at the village grain elevator. Okay. Looks like we just follow the little dirt path up here on the, under the south side of field three. Yeah. Cut across the grass here a little bit. Go take a Look, this is the farm shop itself. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, that's a cool old truck. Kind of neat here, guys. A little bit of the shop. Looks like if we follow this main highway, that should be coming up right here. An old, old windmill there. Hello, car. Beep, beep. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Looks like we have our chicken pens right here. There's our rooster. The default starting rooster that you always get with chickens. Hello, Mr. Rooster. We'll see about getting you a, a hen mate or two. We'll fall down shed here. A little place we can back your tractors in on the back side of it over here. Good morning, yes. Cock a doodle doo to you. Ah, stuck on the fence. Maybe that's something one day it just dawned on me, you know. They always show them in like a little picket fence, and I've, I don't see, you know, I've never really seen, you know, chickens in today's society being held in that type of fence. Looks like we got a little grass cell area right here. Gas station here. Hit the question mark, probably going to just tell us 
Yep, fuel. If a vehicle's gas tank gets empty, you can refuel it at a gas station like this one. There are several of them along the main roads. Thank you. Fill two back there. Not bad. We're, going, we're coming into another little town up here. Looks like it has another XL point. Looks like we have the ATM symbol coming up here. Um, the vegetable warehouse. There's the ATM, as you can see it. Again, there's that yellow pipe that tying this town together. A little play area back there, I just saw it. Quick we'll run back here and take a look at it, guys. Basketball. Get a couple of basketball hoops for the kids to play. Continue on our little journey here. Um, not gonna go to the end. I think down this way is gonna be our vegetable warehouse. Gonna went follow that main road back there, and it looks like it goes down to another fuel station. Vegetable warehouse should be coming up right here on our left side. Excuse me, Mr. Truck Captain. Sorry, beep beep. Okay, now this is a little bit narrower to hit, hit. But we'll get the job done. That, I think I kind of just saw a glimpse of it. That looks kind of cool. You have the grain dump location right here. Looks like a little slotted conveyor belt building design here to keep it dry. Pull up inside the conveyors inside this. Put it inside. Okay. Great me among us, you know, pipes here connecting the buildings together. Not sure if that's actually going to be, you know, used for part of the processing. This is actually going to be kind of tight, guys. You know, so of course, play to come in here and drive through this. But I think it's manageable. I think we can get it done. Just have to make sure you know we took a course play to take it nice and slow through that path. Where to now? Oh, looks like the biogas is going to be the next thing coming up. Ooh, take a little inside view. Cool. Just a basic old design inside. I think this is the biogas right here coming up on our left side. Yes it is. One, two, three, four. Okay, one lane, two, three, four. Okay, looks like they've upgraded us, guys. Looks like we got five. Is it five or four? One, two, three, four, five. I am seeing five full lanes here for silage work. I know in my last episode, I never was able to fully get into that before I had to end the season, but that was all because I got a late start. Um, had a lot of things with computers, and more than likely I expect the scales to work. Ooh, hold. What platform scales? Let's see if we can turn turn camera. 4,834. Let's see if I can get the camera working to see that. Nope, didn't get it off.
There we go. What about my characters? My character weigh anything? Hello? Nope. We don't register. I remember as a kid seeing some of those like at the sawmill that I was just telling you about. Um, even, you know, the larger gas stations and truck stations where they would weigh the big trucks. You know, just for fun, jump out of the vehicle, run over there and jump on it myself and see if I can make the scale read. Uh, finish. Okay, there is another exit down here. I was almost thinking, you know, there's only one way in and out, but there is another access point down right here and one over here. So, again, we got a couple ways in and out. Looks like two way stations, one on each side. What else do we have here? Ah, the transport company. I know I'm cutting across the field, guys, here. Hoping to get this video, you know, finished up today for y'all, get it out there, that way some of y'all can start to see it and, you know, start using episode number two to actually start getting back into work of getting our farm up and running. You know, harvest that very first field over there that we have. Um, in fact, we're starting with two fields. Instead of one, you know, we'll be able to get another crop planted. So. Transport company. Looks like this actually has a train here. We'll send it off from the time when we're ready for it. Send train off. There it goes. Choo choo! Looks like we got a long run for the train on this one. That's kind of cool. Uh, what else we got down here? We got pretty much the entire garden center, which I'll cut across the road here. Looks like the sun's coming on up. It's getting a little bit brighter out here. Wow, the train's still going back there. I think that's coming up on our left side. It's going to be our yarn. We're selling our sheep wool, which our sheep looks to be way down south between 30, fields 35 and 36. just realized something. We have the sawmill up there and it looks like we have another complete lumber yard. So are we being are we being given two places to sell? Hopefully this ain't a fall guys. Oops it is. Ah. Oops. We all know what that just meant. If that would have been real life, yeah this tractor how much ever money it was costing just would have had lots of damage I don't think I can do the same thing on the river there you go getting into the hills you can actually hear the engine of the tractor winding up a little bit more You really heard it. So 
coming up on the lumber yard here. Looks to be the same basic design as the sawmill. Yeah, and probably has the same send off. And there he goes. Right out over the river and wherever his destination is. Okay, back to the main road here. like the next stop we're going to be going past is going to be our grain elevator. Um, I originally was aiming at that garden center and then got side detour when we ran into the river. There's the grain elevator coming into view and there on the left side of the road again. Looks like it's just a simple in and out behind it. Yep. Right here next to have a little waterway. Some silos for the grain elevator here. Another the gas station coming up here on the right side it looks like. A little transformer station for the power grid. Should be our sheet field coming up right here on our left side. Now some have these doors open, some they don't. Nope. That looks like our pallet right there. We're going to be picking up our wool. That door does not open either. Our locations sell grass to them. Another grass cell point. This is actually a, a lot better. Remember these things used to just be little piles of grass domes. Now that it looks like they've you know changed them into little pit areas there. Um, see if we can jump up this hill, get to the garden center real quick. Because the last place is going to be down there in that lower right area of our our map um, where the biomass heating plant is. That should be for wood chips again. We actually have the mill and the freight yard itself. So it looks like we have the bakery, the village grain elevator, the vegetable warehouse, the transport company, the grain elevator, the mill, and the freight yard all going to be our selling points for our different, you know, vegetables slash grains <coughs> coming up. We'll confirm that in just a minute. Um, and then we're going to have, you know, the biomass heating plant, which I think that is, if it's anything like the Bajorn, Bajorn home map that uh, came out originally with the game, that's going to be where we're going to sell our wood chips. And then they've given us two locations, the sawmill and the lumber yard itself. Um, for locations to sell our um, sell our lumber and actually the garden center looks to have its own sell point I totally missed it on the map this is our garden center um, I know I never get 
highly into it that much, um, but if I am correct, this is where we would buy like our pallets of trees if we really ever got into the um, you know tree farming, harvesting, lum being lumberjacks. Let's see. Well, let's, let's follow the river. I know it's a little bit all off road, but a little scenic view. Check out the river. Parts of it look really clear and shallow like that. I almost think that's water crossing. Is it, guys? Should we risk it? Is this an old fashioned water crossing? Sure is. Got the message, you know, warning us not to get too deep, but an old fashioned water crossing. I don't actually think those have been built yet in any of these maps. That's a first that I'm aware of in all the. Uh, in the many maps that have came from out from Giants over the years, I think that's the very first water crossing we've ever had. So, kudos there. I'll give a good job to Giants there for thinking about that and actually putting that in. That is very nice. We'll actually have to see. Looks like, I'm trying to look at the mini map, or the map here. We, we came across one right there between, what is it, fields 31 and 28. Looks like there's one directly north of 31. There's another water crossing there. And there may have potentially been one all the way back there between fields um, 3, 4, 10, and 5. I think I see one right there around where that um, village grain elevator is, just slightly to the right of it. So we'll have to pay attention to that in the future, guys, as we're driving through and trying to get stuff. If the road actually leads us up to the water, it may be another water crossing. So, I give you get, give you giant editors and programmers good thumbs, big thumbs up on that. That was nice to see. You know, took a little bit of program there and thought to design that there to actually you know give us the message like it should. Have, you know, warn us that you know that's not the wisest route across. But before we came up with bridge technology many years ago, that's that's what you had to do. You had to actually do what was it's called forging the river. This is the biomass. Looks like they're equipped to take more than just the wood chips. We got a big crane in the air. That's for logs. Once you start cutting trees and generating wood chips, you can sell them here. Thank you. It, we may even be able to actually bring the actual logs in here too, guys. We'll have to test that. Pick up the log, load it up on the trailer, and just run through there and see if they'll take the actual log itself too. I do know that is one thing from the original map. You know, they even worked on it was that uh, Jensen uh, wood chipper. And I have not seen any notes yet to tell me if they've upgraded again yet for the gold edition or not. But a lot of us actually try to use the thing multiple times. And then, um, yeah, we started fighting a little bit and refusing to use it because we were having problems. Pallet there, probably used for missions. Um, this is supposed to be the mill. I guess it's down here on the lower side. And it is. A little confused there, turn around and figure out how they had it shaped here. Yeah, it's got its train sell off, send off. Right over here. We've been sending them off, might as well send this one off too, huh? Choo choo, chugga chugga.
guess you wouldn't get, guess you wouldn't be able to guess that I actually do like the trains a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll sh save a shortcut because it looks like the freight yard's just over here on the back side. Yep, here's the freight yard. Come up here, dump your grains in it. Push it straight up the conveyor. This is actually kind of cool to see a conveyor. Cause this is what, what it actually would be. You'd actually dump it in a conveyor system like that, and they use conveyor belts to run over here and dump it inside the train. Looks like that sugar beet. Sugar beet. And the train. So there's our freight yard. And again, you know, it has its own lever. So they gave us four different trains to be able to send away, guys. And there it goes. The other train hasn't come back yet from the mill. Okay. What else do we have to tour, guys? Think on that, you know, we got just the main road going right back up to our original farm. Head on back here to the main farm, guys. See if there's any last bit of tidbits that jump out to us. Another gra grass cell location right there, making that th our third one on the map. I'm not seeing nothing on the mini map, you know, jumping out to us. Got to look. Yeah, looks like the mirrors are there, they're working. character actually sits inside and he sways a little bit, you know, his arms move and his whatnot as we turn the tractor. That is something I think with every generation these that came out, you know, they've, they've changed the looks of the little farmer. Um, you know, now he's got a little bit of automation of it being just like a stick figure sitting in there. So John keeps improving on that. And here we are coming back up. You can already see our field number 19 we get to start with. It's already pre-planted. Most likely with wheat. That's what we typically always start with is wheat. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I guess we can take a look at our final pieces of equipment. So we'll start from the beginning. Here's our first, you know, harvester. Got to unfold him. Um, our first tractor that we took our tour in. Looks like they also gave us one of these tractors. This is what? I don't really know this tractor on top. Oh, this is the Major. Looks like he's already backed up with the cedar behind him there. Yep, that's the basic cedar. So we get to start with the three pieces of farm equipment, guys, here. Looks like we also get to get the trailer, the cultivator we saw. The weight, the cedar, what's this, seeds, take a couple of these question marks out real quick, fertilizer, that's cool, I actually have a tank for us, oh here's our silo, that's what this should tell us is silo, these silos are for temporary storage for your commodities, drive under Drive over the unloading spot with a full trailer to unload its contents. Similar display to the right as soon as you are in position. Start unloading. 
Retrieve community from the storage position. Storage position, a trailer below the pipe. Below the pipe, 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 pipe. Where is the pipe? I guess it's the pipe. On the other side, and activate it. And we missed the rest of it. <laughs> so hopefully y'all can finish reading that there on video, guys. Got a wheat logo right there on the side of the building. So I'll go ahead and in in the the very first video, guys. Here, um, we'll call an end to it. We'll come back for episode number two and start getting that wheat that wheat field there harvested in the background. Um, take a little bit more look at some stuff. These are probably just bunkers here, potatoes and sugar beets, with their own little conveyors in the back to offload. Come over here. This is probably the wood chips, which again. Yep, we have to have a front loader to get the wood chips back out of there. I keep thinking, you know, and hoping that they'll put one of those conveyor belts for the wood chips. No more front loader work, but have to give us a reason to use the front loader. Again, guys, this is the very first um, episode of Farming Simulator 15 Gold Edition. As you saw when we loaded in, this is the brand new map that comes with it. I will do my best to learn to pronounce it correctly. Um, I'm even drawing a blank on it. It's like Sinovica um, is the map name. Um, hope you guys are liking it. Hope you'll join me with these, the ser series season number two. Um, I've just about got my brand new uh, editing program software figured out. Um, hopefully I can get it figured out in the next, next couple of days and start using it to produce a very high-end quality video. Um, I'll use my old editor just to get this one video out that way you guys can see it and know the channel exists and start producing these videos for you guys um, please don't forget I am kinda new to doing the YouTube world and uh, out there so please hit the share button the likes um, help me grow my channel on out um, leave leave some comments tips you know ideas of what you have in the future which else you'd like to see definitely if you have a way to explain that yellow pipe to me um, Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you for episode two. Thank you, and take care.